Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been staying safe out there and taking care of yourselves. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't get to upload anything last week. I was away for the whole week and I just got back home a couple of days ago and I have been uh, kind of recovering from my trip a little bit. It was not a vacation, so there really wasn't anything um, relaxing or restorative about it, but um, I am not planning on going away again anytime soon, so hopefully we will be able to get back on our regular weekly schedule for a while. Um, anyway, today we're doing a separation, no contact reading. This is going to be geared more towards twin flame and soulmate connections. We're going to be checking out basically what's going on with your person, how they're feeling, um, if there's any messages that their higher selves want to communicate to you, etc. Whatever wants to come out in the cards. So, we have two decks here to choose from. Group number one and group number two. So, if you guys, um, if you've watched my videos before, you know normally I like to have at least three options to choose from but uh, I felt led to just do two today, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I will give you guys a moment to make your choices. The timestamps are in the comment section. They're always the pinned comment. Um, also, all of my links are in the description box below, my Instagram, um, Etsy store, all of that stuff. So if you are interested, check that out. I do offer private readings. Um, like I said, Etsy store link down below. Um, also, I have launched my own personal website that you can use to purchase a reading if you're interested in doing that. Um, I think I'm going to start trying to phase out the Etsy store and just take orders through my personal website. Um, that's going to be uh, an ongoing process for the ne next few months probably. But um, if you are interested in a private reading, they are going to be a little bit cheaper on my website. Uh, and that's because Etsy does take a portion of every sale that I make. So um, I can afford to charge a little less on my own website. So yeah, if you're interested, check that stuff out. All the details and information that you need will be in those links. So, um, with all of that said, I think we're just going to jump right into this. Um, okay. Group number one. What is going on with your person? What do they want you to know? How are they feeling? What's going on with them? I've got that song somewhere beyond the sea in my head all of a sudden. Did any of you guys play Bioshock? That's how I originally found the song. Um, anyway. Somewhere beyond the sea somewhere waiting for me it has a very like longing yearning kind of energy the song does and <laughs> it's kind of interesting because that's your person's energy right now very longing yearning kind of vibes from your person okay The first card I want to talk about here is the moon. Um, the moon relates to the subconscious. It can represent dreams, um, 
hidden secret knowledge revelations. Um, it can also be about confusion and uncertainty. And um, we also have here the Fool reversed. In the reverse position, this card is about fear, also uh, uncertainty again. Um, you know, in the upright, this is about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, uh, a new beginning. In the reverse, it is like being afraid to take that risk, being afraid to take that leap of faith, putting off, you know, setting down a new path, putting off embarking on a new adventure, that kind of thing. Um, we also have here the Ten of Wands reversed. So this card is really about like, you know, having a lot of things on your plate. Um, it comes up a lot when people are feeling really overwhelmed. So you have a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities that are weighing you down. Um, and in the reverse position, this shows me somebody who, rather than working through those things that are <sighs> working through those things that are weighing on you, rather than doing that, just kind of holding on to them, just kind of uh, clinging to the things that are burdening you and not really doing anything about them. Does that make sense? Uh, it seems to me like your person is, I mean, right away, like I said, there's a very sad kind of vibe that I get here. I mean, right here in the center is the Three of Swords, which is grief and heartache, um, sadness. This is like emotional pain and turmoil. And, you know, I really feel as though your person has been in this kind of state for probably some time now. Uh, it seems to me like Honestly, it seems to me like they they have tried to move forward, but they cannot. The Ace of Pentacles here is about new beginnings, particularly, uh, you know, Pentacles are Earth energy. So Earth energy is very solid. It's very grounded. It's very stable. Um, this tends to, you know, relate more to like money, career. Uh, more physical things, but in this context, I'm seeing this as your person, your person wanting to have some sort of fresh start with you. You know, this pentacle, it looks like a seed. It's got like roots uh, kind of growing off of it. Um, I feel as though your person has been contemplating planting a seed and trying to invest in this connection again, trying to create something new out of it, okay? They've been thinking about this. The Page of Cups, this is a very loving, optimistic kind of energy for the most part. Um, pages, however, do tend to be somewhat immature or inexperienced. They can be naive. They can be overly optimistic at times. So, you know, with this card being here, I do feel um, there is a lot of fondness and affection that's coming from your person. I do feel... Okay, this is, this is a very, like, conflicted kind of energy that's going on here, because on the one hand, they would very much like to reach out to you. They would very much like to try to plant that seed to create something new out of this connection. Um have a new beginning, have a fresh start, make this into something more solid and more stable and more consistent, something stronger than what it was before. And that part of them is feeling very hopeful about things, feeling very optimistic. But then there's also an, another part of them that is very, 
very much overthinking things. Um, the Nine of Swords is here. This is all about overthinking. Like, if there is any card in the tarot that represents being stuck in your head, it is this one. Um, this is like feeling very mentally overwhelmed. This is anxiety and worry, 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 worry. Um, your person, your person likes the idea of reconnecting with you and starting again, but the more, uh, like logical, rational side of their brain is saying, that's not realistic. That's not, uh, likely to happen. They are not likely to let you come back. They are not likely to invest in a relationship with you. You know, that's like what, <laughs> that's what the more uh, logical side of them is saying. And so they're very torn. And so they're very stuck. Um, the wheel is reversed here. This card is about change, it is about cycles, it's very similar in a lot of ways to, like, the world. Um, but, in the reverse position, this is stagnation, this is delays, this is a lack of movement, things just going nowhere. Um, so that's really where your person is at. They're just going nowhere at the moment. Um, because they are so torn about what to do here. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed, Temperance, Ten of Swords. They're fe feeling very out of whack, very unbalanced. Um, the Six of Pentacles reversed, this is some sort of imbalance. This is like, they, okay, they feel as though they are not capable of putting the kind of effort into this relationship that would be necessary to fix things. Does that make sense? Um, I feel like they... Oh, okay. Okay. This is talking to me a little bit more about, like, some past energy that has gone on. Um, okay. I, I feel for a lot of you in the past, this connection was very one-sided. And regardless of whether you were actually in a relationship with this person or if this was just something that never really had the opportunity to become a stable relationship, you know, whatever the case was, whatever the nature of your connection was in the past, I feel like it was very imbalanced. And I'm feeling that one person was putting forth a lot more effort than the other person. And I feel for most of you, you probably were the one who was putting forth most of the time and effort. And your person was just kind of I, not really giving you anything back, you know? Um, the Temperance card here, I feel that you really, really tried with this person. I feel that there was, is, a lot of love here, and I feel that you tried to be understanding and compassionate towards them, but, you know, you can only do so much in a situation like that. You can't force somebody to invest in you back, you know? I mean, you can do everything for somebody. You can give somebody your all, but if they don't want it or if they're not in a position where they can accept it, then, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. Um, the Ten of Swords, this is a painful, painful, difficult ending. I'm feeling like a lot of you may have distanced yourselves for your own benefit, for your own good, even though it hurt, even though it was hard. I feel that, um, many of you just stopped trying. Many of you just stopped trying, and that could be partly why communication has lapsed. Um, this has not been an easy road for you guys. There's been a lot of heartache here, uh, definitely, and I'm feeling
Okay, we have the lovers. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Okay. The Lover's card is a choice. I mentioned just a second ago, you know, a lot of you making that decision to let this go, to just release this connection and trust that when the time is right, things will come back together. Um, or, you know, I feel like some of you have just said, you know, I'm moving on and I don't care if this ever comes back together. And that's, you know, that's, that's fine. Whatever, um, whatever your thought process is about this, you know, that's, that's you. Um, but the lovers card is a choice. Oftentimes this represents choice and also we have the two of cups showing up here So both of these are soulmate cards. Both of these can represent twin flame relationships um, they both talk about union and partnerships and Two people who are in alignment with each other These two cards talk to me about balance about reciprocation about mutual giving and taking and mutual understanding. Um, there wasn't a lot of that in this connection in the past. And I feel that there is potential for that to happen. I mean, we do have the Three of Pentacles here as well. This is about building something up. Um, you know, this is not an ace. Aces are something brand new. Um, this is a three. So this card a lot of times shows me like people working together to build something up that has already been established to some degree. There's already a foundation here between you and this person because you have some history together. Um, so it wouldn't exactly be a brand new, uh, a brand new thing if the two of you were to reconnect. Um, but you know, I, I, I do see potential here for, I do see potential here for a very significant uh, renovation, like rebuilding of this connection. And I feel like at this point in time, again, that's something that your person wants. That's something that they are interested in, but... This Eight of Pentacles is reversed here. And when this card is reversed, it is a lack of motivation. It is a lack of effort, an unwillingness to work hard for what you want. And I kind of feel like that's where your person is at right now. Because I talked about already, you know, theoretically, they really like the idea of reconnecting with you and starting again. But there's that part of their brain, that more uh, realistic part of their brain that is saying to them, it's not going to work out. You messed this up beyond repair and you just need to move on. So it's like their head and their heart are at war with each other in this regard. Um, you know, their heart, their soul, their spirit wants to remain here. They want to be in proximity with you but their head the the more rational side of them is saying just let it go just let it go so they're very torn and they're very stuck and they really have not i really feel that that they they have not made their mind up about anything. Um, even though I do see that this person misses you a lot, and this person... Yeah, 
you know, deep down at the soul level wants to be near you, they still have a lot of growth to do. They still have a lot of changes to make. They still are very, um, in, in a very ego driven place. Okay. There's a lot about themselves and about, you know, what this connection is that they still don't understand that they have not yet figured out. And I feel that they, but before they're going to make this decision, they need to figure some of that stuff out. They need to be able to understand and grasp what this really is. Because I feel for many of you, your person does not really know what this connection actually is. They know it's something, but they don't know what that something is. Do you know what I mean? Mentally and emotionally, your person is really in this five of wands kind of energy. I mean, I feel like we've pretty much established this with that very imbalanced, very conflicted stuff that I was talking about. Um, but the five of wands is emphasizing that, you know, this card is about chaos, conflict, um, disorder. In the reverse, however, it uh, a lot of times to me, it, it represents a more stable and orderly kind of energy. So, you know, before anything is really going to change in this situation, uh, a couple things need to happen. First, like I was just saying, they need to figure some things out um, about what this connection is. They need to do more reflecting on it. And there's also some growing that they need to do. They need to get out of this very ego-driven um, place that they're in. And, you know, being ego-driven and, like, egotistical is not really the same thing. Um, your ego is just the part of you that really uh, cares what other people think. And um, it's the part of you that needs to be in control of things, that wants recognition for things. Um, it's the part of us that can be selfish, you know, um, in many, many people, the average person, you know, is very ego driven and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you're on a journey like this, you have to learn how to balance that with, you know, your higher self. Um, does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to get too like philosophical here. Um, but they, this person needs to connect more with their higher self and like with spirit and the universe, they need to, they need to learn some things. They need to learn some things and they will, but that's going to take time. Okay. Um, as of right now, I, let's see. Okay. Five of swords reversed. Um, as of right now, I really don't see this person reaching out to you in the near future. Um, honestly, I, I don't even want to estimate a time frame because it's going to be, it's going to vary so much for so many of you. Um, you know, the future is never set in stone. It's determined by our actions because we all have free will. But when we make future predictions, I like to base them on, you know, the person's intentions and their energy state. So like right now, like I said, your person is in this very stagnant, passive energy state. Um, and as of right now, I don't see your person having intentions really of communicating with you. And so that's why I'm not really getting a time frame for when you might hear from them. Do you know what I mean? So um, 
unfortunately, I can't really, I can't really say when contact may be coming. All I can say is these are things that need to happen first. And these are things that you, you know, these are things that are not really about you. These are things that your person has to undergo on their own because like twin flame soulmate journeys, they're very personal for all of us. They, they serve a purpose and that is to help us grow, to help us be better versions of ourselves, to help us connect with spirit to a higher degree. And so a significant portion of these journeys tend to be done alone, you know, walked alone. And I feel that that's really where the two of you are at right now. Um, you're in, you're in the solitary stage of this journey. So group one, that's what I have for you today. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was interesting. Uh, I hope it resonated with you. Take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. These are just general readings, so not everything is going to be applicable to everyone. Um, if you want a reading that is tailored specifically to you in your situation, I do offer private readings. The links are in the description below if you're interested in that. And um, yeah, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and I hope I see you next time. Bye! Okay, group number two. Let's find out what's going on with your twin flame soulmate. Um, what are they feeling? What are they thinking? What are they going through right now? All of that kind of stuff. Let's see. This is the Beautiful Creatures Tarot. And the lighting in here is really bad at the moment. Um, yikes. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, well, the sun should be going in in just a couple of minutes now. So hopefully it doesn't stay like this for too long. Group two. A lot of reversals so far. Whoa, that's way too many cards. Okay, we're going to leave it at that for right now. All right, group two, what's going on with your person? Like I said, um, we have a lot of reversals here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven reversals. Um, Reversals in general tend to indicate more self-focused or internal energies as opposed to energy that is projected outward or energy that comes from outside sources. So a lot of times, um, if a lot of reversals come up in a reading, that usually tells me that whoever I'm reading about um, is, for the most part, in a very reflective um, or self-focused kind of state. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing a lot of introspection, um, but it does tell me that they're very much focused upon themselves at the moment. So um, with all of these reversals being here, I do feel that your person is definitely focused very much on themselves at this point in time. Um, 
Okay. We have two knights here. We have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Both of these cards are reversed. Um, knights, overall, these cards are about movement, action, change, um, communication, messages. In the reverse position, the Knight of Swords a lot of times represents um, hasty decision making, um, recklessness. The King uh, or the Knight of Wands reversed is very similar. Um, you know, in the upright position, this is a very passionate, uh, sometimes kind of a player-like figure. Um, in the reverse, this is like passion, enthusiasm, desire that is almost out of control in some way. So I really feel that your person is, I want to say that their their energy feels very like reckless and very all over the place. I mean, we also have temperance here also reversed. Um, temperance is about moderation and balance. In the reverse, it is a lack of balance. It is a lack of moderation. Um, this can be about overindulgence of some kind. So I'm, 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 I'm definitely feeling like this is someone who I mean, for some of you, this person could literally be overindulging. This person could literally be engaging in a lot of really reckless behaviors like, you know, drug use or drinking too much or partying too much, um, things of that nature. Um, for others of you, this isn't going to be quite so literal. This is more of a... I want to say more of an emotional kind of recklessness, which is kind of interesting. So what I mean by that is like your person is emotionally kind of imbalanced. They are trying to find peace and comfort and love from, I want to say from the wrong places. They're searching for those things. And they are clinging to that energy. They're clinging to love and comfort and security wherever they can find it, even, even when it's coming from a source that maybe isn't the most reliable or the most healthy. Um, I actually feel that some of you, your person maybe has been engaged in a toxic relationship of some kind. Um, not necessarily a romantic relationship, although it's possible. Um, but I definitely feel that some of you, you know, this this person has been uh, really clinging on to someone or something that is just not really good for them. Um, but they're doing that because it's a distraction. They're doing that because they feel that they need to let go of your connection. Eight of Cups is about leaving something behind. It's about moving forward, moving on. Um, there is an energy of like sadness and, and remorse a lot of times with this card. So uh, I don't really get the sense that this person truly wants to let go of this connection, but for whatever reason, they feel like they have to. It's possible that, you know, I mean, I mean, if there was any kind of conflict between the two of you, then, you know, that's probably what this is about. Um, it's also possible that this person just doesn't feel comfortable in this connection. Like, it's too much for them. It's too intense. Uh, something of that nature. But I'm just seeing this person feeling like they need to let it go and move on with their life. Um, five of Cups reversed and Four of Cups reversed. Four of Cups reversed is about making a choice. It's about taking an action. Taking action after a period of stagnation or delay. Because, um, you know, in the upright, this is like disappointment, apathy, boredom. Um, somebody somebody just kind of floating in limbo almost um but in the reverse i see this as like your person has made the choice 
to move on, to let this go, or to try to let it go. I want to say try because it seems to me like they're not being super successful in releasing this connection. I mean, this is significant. This connection is, it, it exists on a very deep level, right? So that's not something that you can just completely forget about and pretend isn't there. It's always going to be there to some degree, you know? Um, and so that's why I said, you know, it seems like what they're doing currently, they're, they're chasing distractions, you know? Um, the Five of Cups reversed is about letting go of grief, letting go of sadness, um, regret, guilt, that kind of thing. This person, it seems to me like this person has, in the recent past, felt very stuck on this connection. Um, but now they have made the decision to let it go. Um, they've made the decision to break out of that stale, stagnant, unmoving energy that they were in and move towards something else. And that something else is, like I said, it doesn't appear to be um, the best. I'm feeling... Honestly, I really feel... <clears throat> I really feel that this person does not understand the nature of this connection. And I also feel like they, they may not even have the slightest idea of what this is. Um, because the Sun card is reversed here. This is clarity, insight, illumination, understanding. In the reverse, though, it's really the opposite of those things. This person has not achieved the insight or the understanding of what this connection is and the purpose that it serves, they're really in the dark about this. And some of you maybe have tried to talk to this person about what you share. And if that's the case, if that's something that you have tried to do, I really feel as though they they did not absorb that information. They did not take that information to heart. They maybe just straight up didn't believe you. I do feel that for a lot of you, your person could be very skeptical of that kind of thing, like, you know, soulmates, the idea of soulmates and, and that stuff. You know what I mean? Um, we also have the star reversed, which this card in general does relate a lot to um, destiny, fate, divine guidance, divine timing. In the reverse position, this is a lack of faith. This is a lack of faith. This is... I really feel like your person... Your person has a lack of faith in the connection itself. Like, they do not believe... Currently, they do not believe that this connection could work. They do not believe that it is right for them. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Ten of Swords reversed. The Hermit. The Chariot. I feel in the past, this person has spent a lot of time reflecting on this connection, reflecting on all the things that have occurred between the two of you. Um, they have been very hurt by this connection. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you've done anything to hurt them, but I feel that this connection has opened up a lot of wounds for them, emotional wounds that they left they had left unaddressed you know 
and that could again be contributing or it could have contributed to their unwillingness to invest in this their unwillingness to accept it and embrace it this person wants stability they want security they want love but they're trying to find it elsewhere because it's like if I could if I could not throw the cards it's like in order to achieve those things with this person with with you I should say in order for them to achieve that kind of relationship with you it would require them to heal themselves and to process and work through all of the issues wounds problems that this connection has dredged up for them does that make sense it's like I, I really feel like your relationship prompted a lot of like it, it brought a lot of things back up to the surface for them like things from their childhood things from the past that they had just repressed that they had just pushed down chosen to ignore or maybe were forced to ignore you know um, because they couldn't deal with it at the time do you know what I mean and they're still in a state where they feel like they can't deal with it even though they actually can now they they just they feel like they can't because it is scary it is intimidating you know being faced with that kind of thing being faced with the sort of growth and you know painful uh evolution that these kinds of relationships tend to prompt for us um it can be very scary and intimidating and this person is very intimidated by it and I think that's why they have distanced themselves and that's why they have I, I feel for most of you this person was the one who cut communication for the most part or they're the one who let communication lag you know what I mean yeah king of wands the king of wands is a leader the king of wands um, is sometimes has a tendency to be hot and cold so okay let's see I'm going to take this card too. Six of Swords was on the bottom and I felt like really pulled to look at it. Um, so we have the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands reversed. Also, I just remembered that I didn't really talk about the Chariot very much. The Chariot is about willpower. It's about overcoming obstacles. Um, that is something that this person is struggling with, obviously. We, we've, we talked about this. Um, the Six of Wands reversed tends to represent failure, defeat. The Six of Swords is detachment, as it says on the card. This also can be about conflict resolution. It can re represent reconciliation in some cases. Um, in this context, first of all, the number six is really standing out to me. I feel some of you, I feel like a lot of you probably will hear from this person in the month of June which is the sixth month of the year. Um, so June's not too far away, but um, even when contact does come back, even when it does 
uh, even when you do reconnect with this person, I'm not sure how stable that connection is going to be because it really feels like this person has a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do still. And that's not something that they're going to be able to accomplish in just two or three months time. Do you know? What they need to do is something that's going to take six months, ten months, a year or more. I mean, it depends on all of all of, for all of you, your person is going to be at different stages along their journey. So it really depends on where they're at currently. But for the vast majority of you, your person still has a lot of work to do before before this union can really stabilize and become a more consistent, permanent thing. Do you, do you know what I mean? But I do see... I do see so much potential in this. I do see disappointment and apathy and grief, feelings of defeat dissolving eventually. I do see this person being brave and making the choice to overcome the things that are currently holding them back and making the choice to face their demons and work on themselves truly so that they can be the best they can be for you, for this connection. And the Empress, this is wish fulfillment, this is unconditional love, you know, I do see a strong possibility for you to manifest this person, to manifest a relationship with this person, um, but again, it's just going to take time for that to really stabilize, um, but as far as when communication might happen, uh, like I said, I feel June pretty strongly for many of you, um, so, I think that's going to do it for you guys today. Um, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this was interesting and I hope it resonated with you. Um, this is just general. So, you know, if something doesn't fit your situation, don't try to make it fit. Uh, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Um, if you want a reading that is tailored specifically to you and your situation, I do offer personal readings. Um, the link to my Etsy and my personal website will be in the description below, so you can check those out if you're interested. And I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye!